Hey everyone, welcome back. Today is June 28th of 2021. And in this video, we're going to talk about the passing of former Skid Row singer Johnny Sollinger at the age of 55. Sollinger, although he also had a solo career, was best known for his time with Skid Row. Uh, he was their lead singer for 16 years, surpassing former singer Sebastian Bach. We'll also glance at a couple of the numbers of the current singer of Skid Row, Z.P. Thart, I believe it is. Now, the name Solinger is pretty intriguing. It starts with the syllable sol, and in Latin, sol is the name for the sun. The magic square of the sun is something I talk about quite often on this channel. And this magic square has a sum of 666. Now, it's interesting that Solinger became the singer in the year 1999, which contains an upside-down 66. The name John Solinger equals 999 in Jewish gematria. And whenever we're talking about the sun, we're usually talking about total solar eclipses. Now, we are in a very significant time in America between the two great American total solar eclipses creating an X over the United States. Sullinger died a span of 1,000... I think it was 1,406 days after this first eclipse. You see this? 1,406 days, like how the name John Sullinger equals 146 in the alphabetic order. But not only does his name have this 999, the name Solinger sums to 99 in the standard 26 letter alphabetic order. This matches the name of the band he joined in the year 99, Skid Row, also 99 in the alphabetic order. Talking about the sun and eclipses brings us to the Jesuit order, often called the Society of Jesus. And the Jesuit order has produced the current pope, Pope Francis, the first pope to ever be a Jesuit. Of course, the emblem of the Society of Jesus is the sun with its corona, the atmosphere, which is only visible during a total solar eclipse. Johnny Sullinger died on the date June 26th, written 26-6. This reminds us of the number 266. And Pope Francis is the 266th Pope of the Catholic Church. Notice how he became the Pope 99 months and 13 days before Johnny Sullinger died. Let's just take a look at this here. 99 months and 13 days? Well, 13 is the only number to have ordinal gematry of 99. June 26th is the 177th day on the calendar. 177 is the ordinal value of Eclipse of the Sun, 177. The Jesuit order sums to 177 in the alphabetic order. In my last video, I talked about the collapse of the Champlain Towers, which also has this value of 177. In the reverse alphabetic order, the Jesuit order equals 201. Although Solinger died this past Saturday, news of his death was not published until early this morning, June 28th. And that's because if you measure from the first Great American Total Solar Eclipse, August 21st, 2017, to today's date, you find it was exactly 201 weeks. Consider how we're currently in the period of the coronavirus pandemic. And coronavirus was hinted to us by Event 201, an exercise um, that simulated a coronavirus outbreak just a couple months before the quote-unquote real one occurred.
Also in Ordinal, the word Jesuit equals 84. And Pope Francis, the first Jesuit pope, has primary birth numerology of 84. On top of that, Francis is currently 84 years old. And Johnny Solinger died six months and nine days after his birthday. While the Jesuit order equals 84 and 69 in reduction. Solinger is said to have died because of liver failure. Notice how liver gives us the 69. But whenever we're looking at Pope Francis, it's important to think about his astrology as well. Now notice how he was born on December 17th. The 17th of December is the first day of Saturnalia, which was the ancient Roman festival to honor Saturn, which was celebrated by feasts and sacrifice. Now notice how also in the same reverse ordinal method, the planet Saturn sums to 69. And how interesting is it that not only did he die six months, nine days after Francis's birthday, but he also died 42 days before his birthday in the year 21, and Saturn equals both 42 and 21. As for the 93 in the alphabetic order, notice how Sebastian Bach, who Johnny Sullinger replaced as the singer for Skid Row, was born on April 3rd, and April 3rd is typically the 93rd day of the year. We were looking at the magic square of the sun earlier with its 6 by 6 grid. There's also a magic square of Saturn, which is 3 by 3 And this square, adding every number up, sums to 45. Notice how both Solinger and Skid Row sum to 45 in both methods. Solinger died on the 26th, which had primary numerology of 73. Notice how 73 is found in the gematria of Saturnalia 73, a festival that celebrates sacrifice 73. In fact, ritual sacrifice also 73. Well, notice how ritual sacrifice and Saturnalia also both share this 154 gematria. The name John Preston equals 154. John Preston Sullinger even 154, pointing us both at Saturnalia. But how about the ordinal value of Saturnalia? 116. If you search my channel for a video on Aaron Rodgers, you saw that I talked about this number in regards to a Saturn return. Saturn return has very similar Jewish gematria of 116. And isn't it curious that Johnny Solinger died 1106 days before his second Saturn return, 116. This actually also connects us to the second Great American Total Solar Eclipse on April 4th of 2024. As he died exactly, or today's news falls a span of 1016 days before this second Great American Total Solar Eclipse. The name Johnny Solinger has ordinal gematria of 185, like Saturn with capital letters. To continue on this sacrifice theme, pointing back to the date he died, consider how Skid Row was formed in the year 86. And 86 is the ordinal value of the name Johnny. It's also the ordinal value of the number 19. And the number 19 is really significant in regards to the sun and the moon because every 19 years, it syncs up with 235 lunar phases. This is called the metonic cycle, a period of 19 years in length. Not only did Johnny die on a date with numerology of 19, but the 19th prime number is 67, and look how old he was when he died. 670 months, 19 days old. The name Johnny Solinger equals 67, like blood sacrifice, human sacrifice. Again, the 19th prime. 
And I found it interesting that the picture that the news was circulating this morning was this one of him in a come and go t-shirt. And notice how come and go has Gematri of 67, just like his name, the 19th prime connecting to his age. This even goes a step deeper. When we talk about the number 67, think about total solar eclipse 67. And if you measure from the first great American eclipse to his death, it was a span of three years, 310 days. Well, 331 is the 67th prime number, and his full name, John Preston Solinger, also equals 331. Notice how in Trigonal his name is 2015. Well, that's funny because he left the band in the year 2015. I had to put a note regarding some really strange synchronicity that I had over the weekend. A friend of mine was wearing a come and go shirt this weekend, and I just kept laughing at it because, I mean, how funny is come and go, right? It's a, uh, it's a convenience store here in the Midwest. And I mentioned this to Bobby, key contributor of the blog, and Bobby's like, no way. I just drove by a come and go for the first time. He never heard of it <laughs> before I even contacted him. He said he just found one today. And uh, so that was weird enough, but, you know, my buddy who was wearing the shirt, his gematria was 87 and 177, his common and full names. And this guy was born on 8-7. He died on the 177th day of the year. Furthermore, uh, Johnny Solinger, remember his name connected to soul, the sun, He's also a Leo, which is the only sign ruled by the sun. And my friend is also a Leo, born on 11 slash 8. And this guy's full name equals 118. So I'd be remiss if I didn't mention uh, my own personal connection to this story. I guess you can put it. But there you have it. Um, something clearly connected to the Eclipse Code, Pope Francis, the Jesuit Order. The last thing I wanted to touch on here was... Uh, the current singer of Skid Row, just pointing out how his last name equals 257 and 104, just like Total Solar Eclipse, the phrase blood sacrifice with this same number 257, and 257 is the 55th prime number, which is the age that Solinger passed away at. I believe his given name is John Preston, something to 55. All right, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Peace, love, God bless. And we'll talk to you next time. See ya.